had to leave my father. He was wrong for beating me with whips, scarring my legs and arms, making dark red slashes all across my sensitive skin. I believe in God, and I will never turn away from Him. He has influenced my life so much since my conversion a year ago. My father has given me no choice but to leave just because he won't give God a chance. So I will embark on my journey to Lucania with my tutor Modestus and my servant Crescentina tomorrow. We had planned this for a while now, and we needed to get out of here as soon as possible. After we were awoken to the bright sunrise of the morning, we headed off to Lucania. Since we didn't have a lot of denarius, we got some day-old bread and some warm water that we picked up from the shop just outside Sicily. We started to walk across the border, through the warm air and the dirty ground. After the sun had set and the stars started to shine, we all had become slow and tired and finished our last few steps of today's walk. So we settled down on the cold ground and waited for morning. Morning had come, everything seeming peaceful and quiet, almost dead. The silence remained the same as we packed everything back up and started walking again. When we got to Lucania, we heard people speaking about Emperor Dilocletan's son, who was possessed by a spirit. When we were walking down the street, suddenly a Roman soldier captures us and takes Modestus, Crescentina, and I to Rome, where we went to Dilocletan's son and cured him. The emperor's son looked worried and sat there motionless on the bed. I couldn't believe we cured him. This took a lot of faith for me and my friends because we had to trust God. He helped us cure the emperor's son. This was a miracle, but to the evil and bitter emperor, it was just another act of God, which he hated. For our faith, he punished us, and we were tortured to the extent of almost death in front of all of Rome. Boom! Crack! The lightning had struck, and the rain started to pile in, and we were finally done with their punishment that day. So we headed into a room where the emperor held us captive all night. We all gathered near the little window and prayed to be freed from this torture. I thought about how I ran away from my father so I wouldn't have to suffer any more punishment, but I was wrong. Then suddenly, our prayers were answered by an angel who led us out from the cruel place we were in. The angel then led us back to Lucania where I laid motionless on the ground and started to dream about the new life I would be having soon in heaven with God. Help me to have a voice and to continue to strengthen my faith and love for you each day. Help me live a life full of love and care in your name. Amen.